Today, we're stepping back in time to explore 10 truly unique features that were once common in 1900s homes. And first up, we have sleeping porches. Imagine escaping the summer heat without ever leaving your home. In the pre-air conditioning era, many houses boasted a sleeping porch, a screened-in extension often attached to bedrooms. These offered a cool and bug-free haven for catching some shut-eye on sweltering nights. While offering a connection to the outdoors, sleeping porches required valuable square footage and weren't practical year-round. With the invention of air conditioning, their functionality diminished, leading to conversions into sunrooms, extra bedrooms, or even complete removal. While sleeping porches offered respite from the heat, the true star of the 1900s kitchen was the icebox. This wooden cabinet, insulated with cork or sawdust, kept food slightly chilled thanks to a large block of ice delivered by the Iceman. Yes, that was a job. Costing between $10 and $100 depending on size and brand, Ice boxes were a significant improvement over simply leaving food out. However, frequent ice deliveries were necessary, and maintaining consistent temperatures was a constant battle. The invention of electric refrigerators in the early 1900s quickly rendered ice boxes obsolete. You may even see these sleeping porches on some older homes, along with coal chutes. Look closely on the side of older homes, and you might spot a small metal door near the ground. That's a coal chute. Back when coal furnaces heated homes, around $100 to $300 to install, deliveries were made straight into the basement through this convenient chute. Coal, while initially abundant and affordable, is a dirty and polluting fuel source. Concerns over air quality and the development of cleaner heating methods like gas and oil led to the decline of coal furnaces, rendering coal chutes useless relics of the past. One thing that isn't useless but just less common are picture rails. Ever noticed a decorative molding running around a room just below the ceiling? That's a picture rail. Before everyone started hammering nails into walls, this was the way to hang art, costing a variable amount depending on material and length. Picture rails were a clever way to protect walls and easily rearrange artwork. However, the invention of adhesive hanging strips and sturdier wall anchors provided more flexibility and convenience, leading to the decline of picture rails. Another feature that you most likely have seen in older homes is a dumbwaiter. Imagine a tiny elevator for stuff. That's a dumbwaiter, a small platform that moved between floors in large homes and hotels, used to transport dishes, laundry, or even firewood. Installed for $500, $2,500 depending on size and complexity, dumbwaiters offered a luxurious alternative to hauling things up the stairs. While undoubtedly convenient, they were expensive to install and maintain. In smaller homes, they simply weren't practical. As technology advanced, elevators became more affordable and efficient, rendering most dumbwaiters obsolete. Another feature that technology made obsolete were milk doors. No need to answer the door for your milk delivery. Many older homes have a tiny compartment built into an exterior wall. That's the milk door. The milkman, another bygone profession, would access this door from outside, leaving fresh bottles and collecting empties. Milk doors offered convenience and kept milk cool, but they required a specific delivery service and weren't universally available. The rise of supermarkets and refrigerators made milk deliveries less common, and milk doors faded into a charming reminder of a simpler time. Similar to milk doors, transom windows also faded into history, Above doorways in older homes, you might see small windows. Those are called transoms. They let in natural light and, crucially, could be opened for ventilation. Before air circulation systems were widespread, transoms helped prevent homes from feeling stuffy. While transoms added a touch of elegance and provided ventilation, advancements in air conditioning and heating technology made them less necessary. Modern homes often prioritize larger windows for light and views, leaving transoms as a historical detail. And next up, we have built-in ironing boards. Imagine a hidden compartment in your wall that magically unfolds into an ironing board. These were the height of domestic convenience in the early 1900s. No more lugging out the clunky board. It was always there, ready to go. Built-in ironing boards included in the initial house construction were a space-saving wonder. However, as lifestyles became more casual and ironing less frequent, they lost their appeal. Now, they're a vintage curiosity. 
reminding us of a time when a wrinkle-free shirt was worth more effort. Now let's talk about a more luxurious feature in older homes, the clawfoot tubs. Clawfoot tubs, those freestanding bathtubs with clawed feet, were once a symbol of luxury and sophistication in the bathroom. Made of cast iron or porcelain, they were incredibly durable and held heat exceptionally well, making them perfect for long, relaxing soaks. However, their hefty weight and space requirements limited their practicality in smaller homes. Additionally, the lack of built-in showers meant bathers often needed a separate stall, increasing both cost and installation complexity. With the rise of more space-efficient bathtubs and the growing popularity of showers, clawfoot tubs fell out of favor. Today, they are seen as a nostalgic design element, often restored and incorporated into modern bathrooms for a touch of vintage charm. And last, but certainly not least, are folding beds. Space was often at a premium in older homes, and furniture needed to be multifunctional. Enter the folding bed. This ingenious contraption could be folded up against the wall during the day, freeing up valuable floor space in rooms that served multiple purposes, like a child's bedroom and playroom. At night, it could be unfolded into a comfortable bed for sleeping. While in not the most luxurious sleeping arrangement, folding beds were a practical solution for maximizing space. As homes grew larger and dedicated bedrooms became more common, folding beds became less necessary. However, they continue to be a popular space-saving option in small apartments, guest rooms, and even dormitories. Imagine a world before smartphones and walkie-talkies. You need to tell the cook upstairs that dinner is ready, but the stairs seem like Mount Everest and your voice is hoarse from shouting. What do you do? Well, in those days, you wouldn't yell, you'd whisper through the walls. These fascinating devices were essentially networks of metal tubes snaking through the house, connecting different rooms. Each room would have a mouthpiece and an earpiece, kind of like miniature telephones without the wires. You'd speak into the mouthpiece, and your voice would travel through the tubes, emerging faintly at the other end, allowing the person at the earpiece to hear you. Speaking tubes offered some cool advantages. They were incredibly convenient, eliminating the need to yell across the house or climb endless stairs for simple messages. They also provided a level of privacy, unlike shouting across hallways, and they were efficient, facilitating quick communication within large homes with multiple floors. However, speaking tubes had their limitations. Their range was limited to the length of the tubes, and the sound quality could be muffled and hard to understand due to the distance and friction within the tubes. Additionally, they typically only allowed for one-way communication, meaning you couldn't have a back-and-forth conversation without switching tubes or heading in person. With the invention of the telephone in the late 19th century, speaking tubes started to fade away. The telephone offered clearer, two-way communication over longer distances, making it a more versatile and efficient option. And with advancements in wireless technology like walkie-talkies and baby monitors, speaking tubes became even less necessary. Which home feature would you bring back? If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe. Also, click the one on the screen for more like this one.